All right, guys, back with Gourmet here. Very first live stream ever. Uh, you guys may have got a glimpse of something I was trying to do earlier. I bought a new live streaming camera. Apparently, my computer is way too old to run that thing. All right. Um, so that's why we uh, Super Chat should be enabled over here if you'd like to try to help us out. There's Frack Daddy and uh, Chad. Hello, you guys. Um, thanks for bearing with us on the experimental going on live here. This is my very first time. So other than being on the hot seat with uh, with cooking with CJ, there's John Daigle, uh, one of our brand new members. I'd like to remind you guys about our uh, join button right down there. Hey, and John, you well, since you're a member, uh, you know, you come up prominent in my chat right over here on the right because, you know, I see your little, uh, your little, you got your little emoji over there beside you. So everybody's there. Hey, there's uh, Chef Johnny, uh, Texas style barbecue Q and cuisine. If you guys have not checked out his channel, um, I'm not going to be able to put links in there. I don't have any mods or anything going on over there. So, um, uh, you know, Frack Daddy, one of the other guys, uh, go, if you want to uh, put up uh, Chef Johnny, um, put their um, their link in there to their channel, go ahead. So we're out here tonight on the back porch, and uh, we're talking about old cast iron. And this is the oldest one I have right here. This is a gate marked spider skillet. Um and uh it's definitely my oldest piece and i still use it quite regular special camping um i chef johnny's just uh said make me a mod i don't know maybe i can click on him and make him a mod let me see if i can uh add moderator all right there you go all right now chef johnny texas style barbecue was seen i think you're now a mod uh, Again, he has a lot of experience doing this. He does it once a week. Uh, he does his on Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock Eastern, which is generally right about the time that I am cooking dinner. And I see one of my oldest and longest subscribers. We actually did a couple videos with him. That's Scuttle Dog up in North Dallas, Texas. What's up? He's uh, saying what's up. Um yeah, a scuttle dog. We did a we did a bunch of cooks up there. You have to go way back on my channel a couple years ago to find those uh, where we cooked out in his driveway on his uh, little smoker up there. All right, so it looks like uh, Chef Johnny's now a moderator. Uh, he so he he's reminding me of six o'clock central. That's five o'clock Eastern here um, for his live stream on Wednesdays. All right, Larry Stevens, another good old time, uh, long time subscriber. And, you know, you notice I got my glasses on. You know, you hardly ever see glasses on me when we're doing our normal videos. But I have to be able to read this over here. We got John Jones in here from Pennsylvania. Welcome, John. Um, we got B. Fowler, another long time sub. Keeps cutting in and out, but I think I'm seeing it this live. I like I said I I just got a brand new uh, live streaming camera I set up over here earlier that shoots in full HD. I've been having some issues trying to get that settled uh, settled in. Uh, some of you guys on the on the on the channel actually um, suggested getting that camera. I I'd bought it, but the problem is I think my computer is like six years old and it doesn't have enough memory or something processing speed. I don't have. I've been playing with a couple days and just can't get it to work. Uh, welcome, Chip uh, Signal, Hilliard, Florida, close to Jacksonville. Actually, uh, Chip, I grew up in Clay County uh, down by Camp Landing. So Hilliard is someplace I'm very familiar with. All right. Um, so, yeah, I still got all my family up in that, up in that area right now. So working fine here, Darla A. Hey, welcome, Darla. Welcome, uh, Regulator 308 here from Eastern Kentucky. 
So uh, just subscribed. I was looking for bold peanuts video. Yeah, we, that's one of our very good long time performing videos. Uh, been doing bold peanuts. My dad and mother taught me how to make those years and years ago. We used to go uh, and get them over in West Florida uh, when they were coming in by the bushels. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we would wash them, the bowl of peanuts. And my mother would do them in a pressure canner, which took way less time to do than just, you know, standard bowl. And we freeze them in, in uh, like uh, quart Ziploc bags, put them in a freezer bring them out, you throw them in the microwave a little while, they were just good that way. So if you get a big batch, uh, don't don't uh, forget about freezing them, all right? All right, uh, so let's see. We got Stan Irvin cooking in Tucson, another longtime sub. Steve Green, welcome, welcome, welcome. Eddie Smith, Living Life, uh, love the channel. Hey, buddy, uh, appreciate it. Um, I am so freaking stoked that you guys are showing up. Uh, I don't really have too much on live stats here. I don't really know how many people are in the chat right now. This is the new, uh, I'm on the new YouTube beta version. So it's not really telling me how many people are in the chat right now. But if you're in the chat, don't forget to hit that uh, like button right down there. Uh, hit that like button. That's going to help everything out. So we got more people showing up right now. Uh, Al T, uh, Sigrid Morales. Uh, this old helmet, um, what was the derogatory, this old helmet says, what was the derogatory remark about Jews? I, I didn't say anything about Jews, period. Um, so I don't know where that came from. Uh, Flamesy Crush, boss, we need a video cooking up a fatty brisket. I just put one up a couple of days ago uh, where we just shut up and cooked the thing. Okay, it was, it, it turned out awesome. The unknown Tim Kill one hello from Cali, and me and my dad watching Tim and Tom. Hey, well, thank you guys. Thank you for showing up. We really freaking love all you guys coming up. And you know, I'm sorry, I'm rocking in the chair here. All right, we're just kind of chilling. Uh, we got Southern Griddler Barbecue. I'm showing 32. Great, thanks for that info. So we're doing pretty good. Now it's 37. He says Cheryl Morris. Hi and hey Cheryl. Uh, Scudalog, a real live virgin, a virgin, a real live virgin. Uh, oh, okay. He's trying to be funny. I see what he's doing over there. Uh, yes, it's the live virgin. My very first live stream ever. Okay. Uh, like I said, other than being a guest on, on, uh, cooking with CJ out in LA, if you hadn't checked his channel out, go check him out. He does a live stream with a new YouTube creator every week. So, Chef Johnny, if you can uh, throw uh, Cooking with CJ in there, appreciate that. You guys, go check him out. Um, also, Chef Johnny, don't forget to drop your link in there. Uh, if you guys go back on our channel, you'll see where we did a collaboration video with Chef Johnny on some chorizo chili a while back. Very first time I've ever seen on YouTube where we do two separate videos. We send them to each other, and each person um actually edits their own video from uh theirs and the other creators video something really special um so all right uh shut up and cook was great b fowler appreciate it rc uh doctor i don't I'm not sure what that was at um all right uh chef johnny's reminding people to be clean and polite i appreciate that chef johnny Okay, so now we're finally getting some questions in. So what's your favorite cast iron cookware? I have a lot of favorites, but some of my favorites is these old old ones, you know. Uh, this one uh, probably cast in the 1700s. For some reason, I think it was a lot more pure, the, pure back then. They didn't add a lot of recycled steel, things like that. Others you'll see on the wall right here behind me. There's a lot of Griswolds. We got some Wagner wear. We got some old, old uh, Lodge three notch stuff back there. Um, some of that's my favorites, but there are some great, great new pans coming out now. Um, and I just got a brand new one in today. So y'all, y'all keep uh, 
check on, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we got some stuff coming out on a new field company cast iron pan that was uh, just uh, sent over to us to do a review on. Uh, we already did one a while back on field company. They're awesome pans. Uh, there's some others out there that are, you know, more of the high end stuff. And lately, obviously, we, if you've been watching us at all, we've been uh, reviewing the new Blacklock series from Lodge. Uh, just a little disclaimer, Lodge does send that stuff to us for free, but they do not by any means buy our opinion or influence our review in any way on uh on the use and and what we say about those pans uh they sent them to us over here to uh take a look at and give you guys uh, what we honestly feel about it and and if you watch the first one i did uh here a little while back the very first uh unboxing review of the black lock i had some issues with it i had some issues with the the quality the initial quality of it and, and i filmed that showed everyone the problems that I had with it and, and I, before I actually released the video, I, I contacted them and said, Hey, look, uh, I want you to go and look at this video and, uh, see the issues I had. They immediately, uh, called me. I had the actual production manager from the whole dang gum lodge facility call me personally to talk about the issue and how they were going to correct it. So, and they did, they sent me another pan and they assured me that everybody else that, that would get their pan wouldn't have that exact same issue. Thanks. Uh, there's was another one of my members and, and the Artican, uh, welcome, welcome to the channel. Uh, welcome to my very first live stream. All right. So let me see, uh, to tag someone else, uh, you can use the at button. Yep, you can tag them. Uh, thanks, Chef Johnny, for giving some people directions in here. And if you tag me, it will come up over. If you tag at Backwoods Gourmet Channel, it will come up over here on my live chat uh, that I'm trying to read while talking. Uh, and if you can, put it all in caps. That will help out, too. So let's see. Kent Rollins did one before you with sharp handles. Yes, he did. That's Chip Signal. Uh, thanks for that little comment. I did watch that video. Uh, and thanks a lot, Chip, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, yes, he did it. And uh, I actually watched his video after I filmed my video. So I, I was not aware of the problem that he had when I did my video. So I had my same issue uh, as he did before I ever even watched his video. And uh, then when I went back after I had the issue before I put, you know, put it out there to all you guys, I went and searched it and um, I like, man, he had exact same problem that I had. So, and I guess the people at Lodge, they, they follow him too. I mean, they follow, you know, they got a social media department over there now. They, they follow what the uh, people out here on social media think about their products and i think that's a great great uh asset to their company you know because you could get stuff out here to floating around if you don't correct it you know they're gonna people like me and you know i'm i'm just a small fish but cowboy ken he's a pretty big fish if he starts saying his piece of junk you know, that's going to have an impact on their sales. And I think they, they realize that. So they really do pay attention to what us YouTube creators do. And as well as the comments that you guys leave on our videos. So that reminds me right now to make sure you leave comment on this video after it renders down. Um, and leave comments on our videos. If, if you have um, comments like, you know, hey, what about this? What about especially on review videos? Put them down there because I guarantee you that all gets back to the manufacturers uh, or whoever, whoever we're reviewing. You know, if it's piece of junk, I'm going to take piece of junk. All right. Right off. Uh, don't believe me. Go back and look at our uh, whole review on the Lodge Cook It All. Now, I actually produced that. Uh, I produced that video and I see I see your comments up there. Um, I actually produced that video. Uh, before, or actually as Lodge was 
kind of asking me to come on uh, with to help him out. And um, I held it back a little while because I didn't hear back from him. Uh, after two weeks, I didn't hear back from him. I let her fly. The uh, complete review. And uh, if you hadn't seen that video, uh, we actually took the thing and used it for a boat anchor. It really did. And it, it got a big laugh and everybody loved it. And we actually combined clips from six or seven different videos we did using their own cookbook, their own techniques, right out of their instructions. We uh, did every one of them. It performed pretty, pretty bad in almost everything we did with it. Um, so at the end of the video, we actually tied it a rope, chucked it off the boat out in the lake. So let me know if y'all check that out and if you uh, have had uh, any experience with Lodge Cook at all. So I think they know it was a miss because they still approved me after uh, long after that was out there. So, all right, B. Fowler, we're going to check out you. Um, I got the three quart Lodge Dutch oven mainly because it didn't have. I didn't have a cast iron pan and the lid is just that I'm loving it for someone like me that is new. What would you recommend for me? That would be the most versatile 10 and a half inch or 10 and a quarter inch, uh, cast iron pan, uh, anything that ain't made in China. All right. That could be a lodge, could be a field, whatever you can afford. Uh, um, I just couldn't get by without a, Ten and a half inch uh, cast iron pan. Of there's a gamut of different price ranges. Uh, at the lodge ten and a half inch straight off of Walmart, I think is about I don't know, I think it's less than twenty dollars, uh, sixteen eighteen bucks something like that. So if, if you got to get one piece of cast iron other than a Dutch oven, I definitely get a ten and a half inch cast iron pan. Uh, Kathleen Zimmerman remembers me throwing the cook it all into the lake. Uh, welcome, Kathleen. Uh, glad you're here. We got Jake Hutter wanting to get a Dutch oven. What size is best overall? He's asks. So that really depends on how many people you got to feed. If you're feeding my like family four, if you're camping, if you're outdoor cooking or whatever. Definitely going to say go with the 12, very versatile. You can do smaller things in it. You also do bigger things in it. But if you're just cooking for two, like we are here all the time, I'm going to suggest 10-inch shallow. Okay, the 10-inch shallow. I have the Lodge 10 shallow. It has never left me down. Never, never let me down the 10-inch shallow. I got that for Christmas from my mom and my wife a few years back, and it's been awesome. Uh, thanks, Johnny. Johnny, uh, Chef Johnny just dropped the link in there for uh, using the cook it all for the boat anchor. And I see that Devin Chandler, my son, just showed up. And I want to give a big shout out to Devin. Devin is the actual person that originally created the Backwoods Gourmet channel with the very first video ever, which was uh, plenty of beer, plenty of wood, plenty of sausage, how to smoke sausage. Uh, that was uh, over 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. So big shout out, Devin. Y'all give him a big shout out. He's the one that actually started this whole mess that we now call the Backwoods Gourmet Channel. Yep. All right. Jake Puddlers, thanks. Uh, Eric Veely, hello from the North Central Indiana. Welcome, Eric. Glad y'all are here. And, man, I have just was really nervous that I was going to go on here tonight and nobody was going to show up and I was going to be talking to myself, but uh, apparently that's not the case. The unknown Tim to kill is still here. He's saying hey to Devin, my son. All right. Uh, cast iron barbecue. Thank you. Thank you for showing. Uh, yeah. He's on. Uh, he said the boat anchor was the best Went to the trade show and talked to lodge folks about that video. I, I'm pretty sure they know about it. Uh, pretty sure they know. Okay. Um, he's also asking uh, the unknown Tim, Tim kill one, any cast iron mac and cheese videos. Uh, that's been on my list for quite a while, but lately we have been on a low carb diet. So mac and cheese is kind of off the menu right now. 
Um, but I am really considering doing maybe not just a mac and cheese video, but maybe a chili mac and cheese here coming this winter when we're starting to camp out with some of the some of the guys we mess around with Overland Florida, some of the other Overlander groups, and uh, we're trying to you know trying to teach them a little bit better skills outdoor cooking. So um, yeah, we we might try making that for them. All right, uh. uh Kathleen, Devin, woohoo, uh, for you. Love, love, love your dad's videos. I appreciate uh, that. Back to, back to Devin. Okay, Mark, we got Mark in the house. Got my Sportsman's Grill yesterday, and man, you're going to love the Sportsman's Grill. Uh, that's probably the number one seller of all cast iron on my Amazon store. And I hear so many comments from other people, you know, not just buying them on Amazon, but getting them uh, from Walmart. You can buy it at Walmart about the same price as Amazon. Um, you know, it's not as convenient to go down and buy it from Walmart. They don't always have the stock, but it's been a great little grill. I uh, can't wait to get back to weather cools down a little bit. We can get back doing a little bit more with the with the uh, Sportsman's Grill. But, man, I use that thing for a stove. You know, I put my cast iron right up on top of there, put with griddle. You know, we got tons of videos. You can go back and look at our channel. Click on our channel page. When you get to our channel page, click, click videos. You can scroll back through all, I don't know, 350 videos that we have there on our channel. So that, uh, Steve Corson, thanks for showing up there. Uh, appreciate you guys, uh, everybody uh, from Philadelphia. We got Carla. Uh, Darla A, uh, talking over there to uh, Chef Johnny. Uh, let's see. Let's give a couple more shout-outs to people in the chat here. Corntel Pro Music. What do you think of Corn Cointel Pro? I have no idea what we're talking about. There's uh, Matthew Callahan. Uh, righty. So caught up with the people as much as I can talk and try to watch everything that's going on over there. But anyway, yes, back to Sportsman's Grill. Sportsman's Grill can not only be used for a grill, but can be used for a stove. We, we use it a lot with that the griddle. We just got the new Black Lock griddle. We did that on it here a while back. That worked great, too. Um, and the, the, I guess one of the great things about the Sportsman's Grill is if you don't have a place to make a fire or make a grill or make a real wood stove or charcoal, uh, you can set it on a picnic table anywhere. Pretty much uh, be set up. That's Jeff uh, eleven three sixty seven. Thanks for joining us, Steve C from Indianapolis. Can't believe we got so many people from all over the country. I haven't. Uh, if you're if you're watching from out of the country, give us a shout out. Let us know where you're watching from. Let everybody know where you watch where you're watching from. Uh, Darla A says someday you need to do a red flannel hash video. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some research on that because I've never heard of that before. Yeah, you know, we're down in the south here, so uh, yeah, I'm on. I'm going to have to do a little research to find out what's that, what that's all about. Because anything that's got a hash in it is probably going to be my friend. All right, so Mark uh, from Colorado, thanks for joining us here. Uh, put in your question if you have any questions about cast iron, Dutch oven cooking. That's kind of what we're talking about tonight. Uh, B. Fowler has actually uh, said uh, she's been enjoying uh, Overland, Florida. So, uh, Chef Johnny, if you can find Overland, Florida, uh, please slam a, a link to his channel over there in the chat. So, y'all uh, look for that. Wes Walker uh, chiming in here. Appreciate it. Love my Sportsman's Grill on everything. Uh, yeah. I mean... It's awesome. I don't know. I don't know what took me so long to get one. All righty. So y'all should get me some questions over here uh, about anything cast iron. And uh, we'll try to answer them. Okay. Uh, Al T, what's your thoughts on the Lodge charcoal table? I actually have that, the Dutch oven table. We have a review video that we did a while back and a couple of subsequent videos using the table. Um, Okay, first of all, it's not made by Lodge. Uh, I think they have it manufactured overseas. 
it has held up pretty good so far. Uh, we have got a little bit, you know, we're, don't leave, put it this way. Don't leave it out in the weather. All right. Uh, there's part components on that that will rust if they get wet. I have not yet burnt the black paint off of it, the barbecue black that it's coated with. Uh, but the feet, the little screw feet that screw up into where you can adjust the legs on it, those are getting a little bit rusty. Not too bad. They still operate. Uh, I like the height of it. I like the windscreen on it. I like the fact that it folds down. I really wish I would have gotten the uh, the tote bag for it. I still may order that uh, because you got the windscreen and the table are two separate parts. Makes it a little tough to pack. So we may go ahead and order in the bag for it. So I would suggest if you order it, go ahead and spend the extra uh, well, 10 or 15 bucks and get the tote bag to, to just try to keep it all into a packable form. All right, let me get back here. Wes Walker, welcome. When you're ready for Dutch oven this winter and a casserole, try King Ranch chicken. It's amazing. All right, buddy. Uh, we will put that on the list. King Ranch chicken in the Dutch oven. Um, I, that sounds amazing. All right. Uh, here's my uh, old buddy Scuttlehog uh, chiming in. Can you cook a possum on cast iron? You can cook anything on cast iron, Scott Log, including possum. And uh, I know that's one of your favorite meals. I, it might uh, surprise you, but I've actually never eaten a possum. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me check up in here with uh, some of the chat. Steve C., welcome. Uh, what's your favorite dish would you like to make? What is what your favorite dish you'd like to make? Uh, well, the, the fav my favorite dish I like to make is shrimp and grits. Uh, probably my favorite dish of all time, especially with wild shrimp. So shrimp and grits, my favorite dish to make. Uh, all right, Stephen Corson, I use the sportsman's grill on the lodge table and get it off the ground easier on the back. Absolutely agree. Uh, anywhere you can get that thing up off the ground, it's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier to operate. All right. So Chef Johnny just put in the chat, chat down there a link to our video where we collabed on the chili. Uh, Mark says, I got my table in and a bag and coming in the mail. Can't wait. Uh, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, like I said, just try to store it out of the weather and you won't have any issues. Uh, chip signals chiming in in Florida. We eat squirrel. Absolutely. Uh, I called it chicken of the tree forever because once you uh, clean those things, age them properly, cook them properly. To me, they're as good as any rabbit, any, uh, uh, you know, homegrown chicken. Um, they're just they're just awesome. Russell Green. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Backwoods and everyone. Um, Russell, welcome to the chat. Uh, feel free to throw us down a uh, question in the comments. If you put uh, at the at symbol Backwoods Gourmet Channel first and type in caps, that will point out your question for me to read over here. Robert Hickade, working on getting a table for cooking outdoors like you do. Shouldn't be a problem to work on the work with iron workers. Yeah, you have, if you got people that can fab. Yeah, the one we used forever was just an eighth inch sheet of aluminum laying up on top of our double burner Concord stove until we actually got a for real Dutch oven table. Uh, grumpy old gringo. Welcome. Welcome, sir. One of my longtime subs. Uh, and for a lot of other other channels that uh, I also watch. All right, let's check it out. BR. BR. Welcome, Mr. BR. BR from no, North Northern California. What's what's a good 10-inch deep Dutch oven to buy? I'm going to say Lodge all the way. Uh, that, as far as I know right now, Lodge is the only American-made Dutch oven on the market. Uh, all your camp mode, Bayou Classics, all the rest of them, all made in China. Right. So go ahead and get your Lodge 10-inch deep. I got them over there on my Amazon store. Uh, click on there. Uh, if not, you can go to lodgemfg.com and buy it direct from them. Uh, some 
times you can find them at Bass Pro Shops Academy Sports. Uh, every once in a while, depending on the store, in a Walmart or Rural King. All right. Uh, righty. Jeff Morgan, old time friend of mine. Welcome, Jeff. Um, man, I haven't talked to this cat in a long time. He actually used to be my boss, uh, some, some time ago. And I guess he's still around. I haven't heard from him in a long time, but hello, Jeff. He says, Hey, old buddy, I, I need one of those backwood shirts up here in Atlanta. All right, buddy. Well, you just jump on my channel, any one of my videos, uh, click on the merch shelf right below the channel, uh, on the Teespring shelf. Click on there. You can go through our whole store front, front check on which one you want. I would suggest the uh, one that says it's got a, a picture of a Dutch oven on the back, and it says, smell my Dutch oven. So everybody gets a kick out of that one. I've designed all these uh, logos and shirts and logos and everything you see on our uh, channel is my own artwork. So uh, nothing, you know, that we stolen from anybody else. So all of our designs are, are my own, my own art. So appreciate it. All right. Let's see if we can get back to some questions. My Favorite tripod is no longer manufactured, and I can't find one online. I have one that I bought online on Amazon some time back, and uh, it didn't take long till one of the eyelets on the top of it broke off. Uh, kind of a piece of junk. So, uh, all right. So, uh, Chef Johnny, can you? I'll go ahead and hide him now. We got some uh, somebody from China leaving inappropriate comments, so I'll just go ahead and get that off of there right now. Uh, thanks, Johnny. You actually beat it, beat me to it. Um, but I just took my torch and heated that end of the metal up, put a device, twisted me another loop in it, put it back together. It still works fine. We do have one over on our Amazon store from the lodge. Uh, I'm not sure they actually manufactured or not. Um, so I believe that's the one we actually had. Uh, but I'm not sure. I forget. Bluegill and Bass. Uh, hey, just joined. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, uh, like I was saying before, uh, we have a join button below down there. Uh, you can sign up on our lowest level membership. Uh, you know, as crew member, where you're going to get a lot of little bennies, especially for live streams, stuff like this. And for comments, I'll see your your uh, badge beside your name, which automatically prior uh, prioritizes your comments. I get let me tell you what, guys, I get probably 75 to 100 comments a day. There is no way I can respond to every single comment. But I, what I can guarantee you is if you hit that join button, I I can prioritize those members comments at the top of my list. So the ones that I do get to respond to, yours are going to be at the top. All right. So if you hit that join button, you're going to come up on my list at the top. So if you got uh, comments or you really like to get more access to make sure your comments get answered, then you hit that join button. The first level is $1.99 a month. All right. $1.99 a month. So appreciate it. So uh, that brings you to the point. Uh, I would like to remind you again: Super Chat is enabled over on the, on the uh, comments over, or your uh, your live chat over here. So if you'd like to contribute to the cause, we'd appreciate any little any little thing you can give over there. Not uh, begging or anything, but just kind of reminding you. So I have to remember that we already did get a super chat uh, up in there before. Appreciate that. So, all right, let's get back to those chip signal. Ten bucks. Appreciate that again. All right. So, BR is asking, do you sand out your Dutch ovens or just your skillets? Uh, BR, I did have never sanded my Dutch ovens. I mostly use those Dutch ovens for low and slow baking, roasting, things like that. I've never had any real problems. Actually, I think the rough finish actually helps you. When you're especially doing a braise, it actually, you know, forms that, 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 you know, it's a little stickier. So it actually forms that fond on the bottom of the pot, which you can bring up later. I've never seen a reason to sand the Dutch oven. 
uh, skill sour stuff you're going to fry, stuff you want to sear, uh, doing eggs, breakfast, stuff like that. Uh, I've, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. Uh, I thought I wanted everything smooth, and then I've tried some of the newer stuff. But still leaning towards smooth stuff. Uh, go on her channel. Appreciate it, Chip, uh, for the super chat. So anyway, um, for skillets, I think I prefer to smooth skillets. We just did a review on a big number 12 field company today. Uh, that thing was awesome. So you really got to um, hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. And that that's a video coming up next weekend. Uh, really super, super awesome um, skillet. And it's perfectly smooth right from the factory. All right. So let's get in here and check out some of the comments. Okay. Uh, Chip Signal say, yeah, we'll check that out. BR, I mean, we already took care of that one. Uh, Texas style barbecue cuisines just commented over he needs 1,500 more subs for he can have members. So if you haven't already, get over there and subscribe to Texas style barbecue and cuisine. Got a really good uh, informative channel. If you want to see some good instruction from a real chef, not just, you know, some backwoods, you know, Backwards Gourmet, uh, get over there and see Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Very, very informative videos. He does a really good job uh, with showing you every step along the way. All right, Brian Sutherland, appreciate you joining us, buddy. If you're just starting a collection of cast iron, which would you recommend? Brand, size, etc. cetera. Uh, we kind of answered this earlier. I would get me the best 10 and a half inch or number eight skillet that you can afford. Well, that's a fuel company brand new, whether it's a lodge right out of Walmart, very, very affordable, or uh, one of like the antiques we have here, Griswold, Wagner, you can pick those up sometimes, find them a good deal. Sometimes you can find a good deal, old three notch generic lodges and yard sales. I bought a 12 and a 10. Or ten dollars for both skills, five dollars piece in a yard sale uh, a few years back, and now they're two of them, two of my favorites. Okie dokie, uh, we got Brian, Steve Green. Appreciate you being here. Have a good night. Thanks for all the info. Uh, appreciate you guys showing up. Uh, like I said, I can't really see. Oh, we got now. Oh, I finally figured out where I could see. We got fifty three still in the chat. Thirty three likes. So. If you guys are in the chat, forgot that uh, there's a like button in live chat. Go over there, check out the like button. All righty. Mark says, I started out with two fuel company pans, the 8 and the 12. That was an awesome choice. I know that's a little coin to drop. Uh, they're not the most ex inexpensive pan out there, but they make right out of the box. They are awesome. I love both of mine. I had the uh, the eight for a while, just got the 12 and just did the first cook on it right before going live here tonight. So, and it, it really, uh, uh, you'll just have to wait and see the video. Wes Walker, uh, see if Johnny is amazing. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's pretty amazing over here on this channel. So you'll have to check him out. Brian Sutherland, thank you. Rockin' J Farms, appreciate you joining the live here. Uh, appreciate the nice comments. So if y'all have any more comments about uh, cast iron, just leave them in here. If you if you hit the uh, at symbol and then backwards gourmet, you can just start typing backwards. It'll come up uh, right in your in your in your chat message over there. It'll come up right over in there, and just click on it. Then you type your message. Then it'll highlight it. It'll highlight it over here for me so that it stands out so that I can pick it out in all the uh, the chats that are going by here. Uh, ready. All right. So Wes Walker says Chef Johnny has an amazing collection of cast iron. And yes, he does. Uh, he's told me a lot about it. I've seen a little glimpses of it uh, where he's just got it piled up everywhere. He used to have an antique store. So 
He has a ton. And if I ever get over there to see Chef Johnny, uh, I'm going to try to talk him out of some of it. All right. And then we'll put it over here where it actually gets some use instead of hanging around in his barn shed or wherever he's got it over there. Uh, Robert Heikade, do you cook with any ceramic cast iron? So, as in ceramic cast iron, I'm assuming you're talking about the enamel coated uh, cast iron. I do not currently own any of that. Uh, that is great for cooking in the house. It also works very good for using uh, on induction uh, cooktops if you have induction cooktops. But I currently don't own any. Uh, I've looked at a few pieces, but I mean, geez, I. I I got over 50 pieces now, so I do not know how many more I can handle around here. Food Forest Permaculture. Hello and welcome to our live chat. We have a few more minutes going here. We've been on now for over an hour or going on an hour in a 40 minutes right here. So we're going to go about 45 minutes. So if any of you guys got any questions, you need to uh, stick them up here. Over in the live chat, don't forget to tag in front of it at Backwoods Gourmet Channel so it pops up. And uh, I'm trying to answer everyone I can see over here. Uh, Jim Stula. Welcome, Jim. You ever seen a nickel-plated Griswold? Yes, I have. Uh, it's actually, I have a little clip of it on one of our videos where we actually were in Tennessee and at the antique store and actually seen a nickel-coated Griswold, the first time I'd ever seen one way out of my price range. All right. Uh, all right. So, Mark, when does the addiction to cast iron subside a bit? I'm about five months in and already have 20 plus pieces. Well, I guess the addiction never subsides, but what's going to happen is you're going to get so many pieces, you're going to know where to put them again. And then, then that's going to have to, then you're going to have to be really picky about what you get so right now we're not buying anything new anymore only thing we're getting is stuff that people are sending us uh to do reviews on so now i'm getting a lot picker even on ones i collect so only ones i'm going to collect anymore are going to be gate marked like uh that one right there gate mark i think that was actually a griswold copy uh probably poured by someone a long time ago from a mold made from a griswold Spider skillets, like uh, the one we showed earlier, it's like this, three leg ones, uh, gate marked. I would love to have a couple more of these because they work so good for camping and working for cooking on uh, over a campfire. So if I can find a couple more of these, I'll definitely buy them if they're in good shape and they weren't a million dollars. Um, and uh, like old Wagner, Wagner wear, I might buy a couple more of them. Other than that, I'm, I'm pretty much done at 50 some pieces. Jeff Morgan, hey buddy, uh, let me scroll back up there. You really, Mark, appreciate the super chat. Uh, let me find Jeff. Jeff's question again here. He went off the reservation. Do you make any seasonings that you sell? Looking for a great seasoning for skillet cooked steaks. At this time, we are not. Um, I have, if you go back on my videos, uh, go look at my channel page, uh, go back there. I actually give away our steak and brisket rub. You can make that yourself very easily. There's only about four or five ingredients in it. I give you all of the, uh, of the, the uh, proportions. So you can make huge bags, make a little batch. So it's like a one-to-one, -one, two two-to-one, three-to-one ratio. So look at that. My steak and brisket rub. That if we ever do start selling a rub, that's going to be the rub first rub we're going to put out there. So it's good all around everything, really chicken, fish, barbecue, uh, steak, brisket, anything. It's mostly salt, pepper, garlic. It's got rosemary, a little bit of accent. Um, pretty awesome. But I give that wet recipe away. Just like I said, hit up, hit up a channel page video and then scroll down. I don't know, about 100 videos. And uh, look for it. All right, buddy. Uh, let's get back to the regular chat here. Um, all 
All right, Scuttle Dogs asking, do you have any idea how hard it is to find a spider? I've been looking for over a year. I know. And when he's talking about spider, he ain't talking about this kind of spider. He's talking about this kind of spider. My brother actually found this one for me in Alabama. Uh, I did go back to the same store about a year later, uh, look for another one. I did find one there, but they wanted way more money than I wanted to spend on it. I think it was well over $150. Uh, he got that one for me for 50 bucks, 50 bucks. So he called me, he says, I found you one of them spider skillets up here. You want me to buy it? And I was like, oh, well, how much? And he says, 50 bucks. I'm like, buy two of them for that price. If you can get it. All righty. Appreciate it. Mark for that. Stat, uh, again, for the super chat, uh, Robert, where's your next road trip? Love those videos. Good job on your first live YouTube. Good job on my last name. Most people screw it up. All right, buddy. Appreciate that. Next road trip coming up in the first week of November. Would love to be going back to the mountains because, you know, the weather's going to be beautiful up there. This time we're actually going south of Fort Myers area. Have one of my best friends in the whole wide world, lifelong friends. Um, uh, buddy from the, uh, my Marine Corps days, and we've been lifelong friends coming down with his his wife, and we are going to Fort Myers, and we're going to definitely be doing some fishing down there, taking the boat with us. Hopefully, you'll see, going to see some uh, catch, clean, and cook, maybe some trash, fish, or treasure. Who knows what's going going on, but we're going to be taking uh, Sportsman's Grill. We're going to be taking some cast arm. We're going to be taking some Dutch ovens. Uh, and whatever happens, uh, we're going to find some way to make something good to eat. I guarantee that. All right. So that's coming up first week in November. Probably had first videos up second week in November. So, uh, Roddy, let's get back into the chat here. Uh, Chef Johnny, thanks for taking care of Scuttle Dog there and giving him a little bit of advice. Uh, Mrs. B. Fowler, appreciate the kind words. Uh, she says, I do love this channel. Thank you, and Mrs. Backwoods. Got to get ready for work. This is pretty cool. Good night, everybody. So we've been going on here 47 minutes. Uh, Becky Dupree, thank you for joining us tonight. She is my first uh, sous chef level uh, member over there on the channel. Appreciate that. And Becky, since you are a member of the channel, when you pop up over here on my chat, your name is highlighted in green. Plus, I see your custom live chat emoji. So that's one of the uh, benefits of being a member. Uh, if you come on to these kind of events, you're definitely going to be highlighted. And she told me to come to Texas. Well, that's a long drive. OK, but we do have family over there in the Houston area. And like I said, uh, I'd like to come see Jeff Johnny. We can get away enough uh, time. Uh, we'll see if we can't make it happen. All right. Uh, Russell Green says, I want to find a good chicken fryer. Can you help? Absolutely. Uh, the new lodge uh, deep skillet with the with the uh, half skillet cover. I uh, got one over here. Been on the channel a lot. Um, they still make that pan. You can find that Walmart. That's where I bought mine. It's got a heavy, heavy lid that could act as a second skillet. It's deep enough, really do uh, fried chicken. Awesome. Plus that heavy lid helps hold the moisture inside there. Does a fantastic job for fried chicken. As a matter of fact, that's about all I use that one for because uh, it works so good because I can leave that grease in there, that lid upside down on top of it, and that grease is good next time I get to go. Or ready to go do some fried chicken. They still make that. It's uh the Lodge 10 inch deep combo, I think is what they call it. Uh where it has a either lid slash skillet as the lid. 10 inch deep a lodge combo. That's a awesome chicken frying pan right there. Okay, Terry McLaughlin, thanks for joining us. Love your channel. Much love from Topeka, Kansas. Uh it's God's country out there. 
All righty, Chip. All right, at the end, of, can we get Texas Channel link in again? I didn't want to click out of the live view earlier. I guess he's asking for uh, Chef Johnny's link. So, or his his link. There it is. A Sylvia, uh, Mrs. Backwoods, has just joined the chat. Finally, after 50 minutes, uh, she is our highest level member. And she also comes up in green in my live chat. Wasn't told you were going live. Shame on you, Backwoods, a.k.a. Mrs. Backwoods. I, well, that was kind of experiment to see if she actually got notified that I was going live. So I didn't tell her actually on purpose because trying to see how the notifications are going for members and non-members. Uh, some of you got on. I mean, boom. Others, maybe not so much. So, Lipsig, uh, okay, Lipsig, uh, Schweizer, I believe, uh, good old German name. I'm usually pretty good at German names because my wife and her mother's, all of her family are German. So, Lipsig, uh, he wants to know, uh, I know the focus on the Blacklock skills is taking precedence, and... Rightly so, but I can't wait to see more demos on the, the Blacklock griddle. Uh, absolutely, Duke. Uh, I can only do one video a week, and uh, we just put up the second round of the Blacklock skillet challenge yesterday. Uh, none of y'all watched it, apparently, or none of y'all got notified it was up. I don't know what happened. First one. At 6,000 views in the first day, uh, and none of y'all have watched the second one. So if you hadn't seen the second uh, Black Lock Skill Challenge, it's a uh, current video on our channel right now. So it is up there. Uh, and like I said, nobody's watched it. But, yeah, we're going to pull that griddle out. I really do use, like using that griddle, on, especially on a sportsman's grill or over campfire. Probably the next one we're going to do is over campfire. I, the weather would just cool off just a tiny bit. We will definitely get out there to camp again, and I'll definitely be bringing that out and doing some breakfast on it. All right. Uh, Darla A says uh, her notification popped up on my phone. All right. Well, it's working for you. Uh, Miss Mrs. Back was saying hey over there. Uh, Chad Rob Wabishton, uh, or Trad, Chad Robinson 45. Appreciate it. I watched the second video. All right. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Um, uh, not a whole lot of people did, though, uh, Chad. I, I don't know what's happened. It, it's just it kind of it went and it just went. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a YouTube thing. It be YouTube thing. All right. So we're at 53 minutes and three seconds. I think everybody has checked in. Uh, we've answered all the questions that we have. So. Um, let you know right now we're going to try to make this a thing on Sunday night. We had uh, 41 people in the in the live stream tonight. We uh, 42 and we got 42 likes. So appreciate you guys all interacting with us here tonight. Uh, we're going to check back in with you. Uh, I'll try to put out a little bit of notification. Uh, on the community tab before we go, this is kind of a last minute thing. Like I said, I got a full HD webcam over here. Been trying to get that to work. I don't know if my computer's too slow or internet's too slow. We're working on that. Um, uh, thanks, uh, Joss Maglaqui. Maglaqui, uh, appreciate it uh, being in here. You're hitting on the last couple minutes of this live stream. Um, uh, thanks, uh, Lipzig. Uh, I'll be watching uh, down down the road. Uh, Joss, last time you went fishing, uh, it's been a while. Every single weekend here has been blowing. Hurricane, cold front, just plain old blow. Have really no no uh, you know desire to go out there and beat through a three and a half inch or three and a half foot white caps and get blown all over the lake and have an awesome uh, you know just terrible time. I just blowed again here this weekend. Uh, just had not get a chance to get out. 
hopefully the weather will start calming down here as we're finally getting here and maybe another two, three weeks starting to get in a little bit of fall weather. Definitely going to go out. I know they're, they're biting, especially over Tampa Bay. I've been seeing some guys over there catching the crap out of them. Jeff Morgan, appreciate y'all. Uh, uh, Chad Robinson, 45, says, awesome. Looking forward to the live chats. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys showing out. Uh, uh, Joss is saying, I missed the trash fish segments. There's only so many trash fish you can catch. Uh, we are actually working on a freshwater trash fish video right now. I did find a spot to do it, and uh, that's going to maybe be coming up in very shortly. All right, Becky Dupree, appreciate you here. She is mentioning the National Dutch Oven Gathering is in uh, Mineola, Texas in 2020. Uh, depending on uh, how much support we get from you guys between now and then, uh, and, and if we can find a sponsor to uh, help us out with some of the cost of that, we just may attend that. So, uh, Becky, please keep that. Uh, keep reminding me about that. All right, guy, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and sign it off now. It's been 56 minutes, and uh, we appreciate every one of you guys. And Josh says, I think I'm the only Asian that follows you. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I know I have a lot of watchers in the Philippines, and I'm pretty sure they're Asian, okay? Um, I got a lot of watchers over in the Philippines, all right? So there's a lot of, lot of, a lot of other Asian people. So, all right, guys. Uh, James Smith, appreciate you. Uh, if you just showed up, we've been here on 56 minutes. So, um, like I said, I'm going to try to make this more of a regular thing. Sunday nights are around 8 o'clock Eastern. Sunday nights around 8 o'clock Eastern. I put a couple of polls out there and asked a lot of people, and most people say that's kind of, you know, a time they would be available to watch. And so we appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys are going to bed here. But before you sign off, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. And I appreciate you, Chef Johnny, for stepping in and doing the mod duties. Uh, 1990 S. Kelly, um, appreciate you, appreciate appreciate you stopping in. We're getting ready to shut her down, so uh, we'll put it out up in community tab uh, and give you a little heads up next week when we're going to go. But it's probably going to be Sunday evening again. So till then. Uh, don't forget. Our motto, to fish, hunt, cook, eat, and live. We'll see you next time.